Bukod sa operations on factions, isa sa mga challenging operations or challenging units sa algebra ay yung pag-solve ng mga literal equations or yung solving for x or any other letters sa algebra. Ngayon, um, gagawin natin is magsusolve tayo ng mga literal equations na kung saan i-apply natin yung lesson na natutunan natin in solving linear equation para makapagsagot tayo or makapag-derive tayo ng iba pang formula mula sa isang formula. Now, examples ng mga literal equations will be the um, geometric or mathematical formulas na nakita nyo before. Meron tayong formula for distance which is equal to rate times time. Madalas nyo itong makita sa uh, subject nyo sa physics. At yung area naman ng triangle which is one half base times height. At yung perimeter which is equal to twice the width plus twice the length. Now, ito yung mga example formulas lang na nakita nyo before at mas marami pa kang formula kayong makukuha or makikita sa mathematics. Now, ito yung mga formula or literal equations in algebra na tinatawag na gagamitin ko para maituro ko yung pag-isolate ng isa sa mga letters dun sa formula para makapag-derive tayo ng isa pang formula. Now, para mas maintindihan nyo kung paano mag-solve ng literal equation, kailangan alam nyo kung paano mag-solve ng value ng x sa isang linear equation. So, sa previous lesson natin, kung meron akong 5x equal to 7 at kailangan kong isolve si x or have x by itself, kailangan kong matanggal si 5 at sa para matanggal ko si 5, ang kailangan kong gawin is i-divide si 5 sa 5x at saka sa 7. So, magkakaroon ako ng 5x over 5 at 7 over 5. And by doing so, makakancel si 5 at ang matitira na lang is si x, which is 7 over 5. So, x here is equal to 7 over 5 using one-step equation. Ngayon, i-relate naman natin siya sa literal equation. Halimbawa, ginamit ko ang formula na distance is equal to rate times time. At kailangan kong isolve si t, which means kailangan si t na mag-isa lang dito sa side ng equation na to. Sa formula na to, si t is with r. So, ito is r times t. So, to get rid of r by t using the formula or using one-step equation, kailangan kong matanggal si r. And to get rid of r, I need to divide both sides by R kasi yun yung operation na kailangan natin gawin. Hindi natin siya pwedeng i-minus o hindi natin siya basta-basta tatanggalin na lang para maging mag-isa na lang si T by itself. So we need to do an algebraic step on how to get rid of R but with T. So by doing so, R divided by R will cancel out kasi equal to 1 na lang yan which is equal to D over R. So ngayon, si T is by itself which is equal to d over r. Therefore, na-solve na natin yung literal equation. And in this case, wala kayong number na nakikita, pero still, ginagamitan nyo pa rin siya ng algebraic method. Now, iba pang uri or iba pang ways ng pag-solve ng literal equation involves different algebraic steps. So, bago ko puntahan yung literal equation natin sa example number 2, Kailangan ko munang i-relate ito sa isang uh, algebraic problem tulad nito. 1 over x or 1 half x is equal to 5. Now, kung ang goal natin is to have x by itself, which means we're solving x, we need to get rid of 1 half by x. And to do that, all we have to do is to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2, para matanggal si 1 half sa x. So, 2 times 1 half is equal to 1. So, wala na siya, makakancel na. So, x is by itself and you'll have 5 times 2. Now, if you want to further simplify 5 times 2, it's equal to 10, kaya x is equal to 10. So, ito yung step na ginagamit natin kung gusto natin masolve si x wherein meron tayong fraction by x. Now, how are we going to relate it to our new literal function or our formula. Yung formula na gagamitin natin is yung formula ng area ng triangle, which is given by one half of base times height. So it's one half times base times height. And in this particular problem, gusto kong isolve si B. So I want to have B by itself. So that means, kailangan ko matanggal si one half, kailangan ko matanggal si H, 
dito kay B para mag-isa na lang siya sa equation. So, I need two steps to do that kasi may dalawa kong terms na kailangang ilayo kay B. So, sa formula na to, I want, my goal is to have B by itself. So, ang una kong step na gagawin will be to get rid of my fraction kasi yun yung pinaka uh, nakaka eyesore dito sa ating formula para B will be by itself. And to get rid of one half, we need to multiply both sides by its reciprocal which is 2. So multiply 2 kayo sa A, magmultiply kayo ng 2 dito sa side na equation, and by doing so, so, 2 times A will be 2A, and one half times 2 will cancel out, and you'll be left with BH. Now, B is still not by itself, so we need to do another step. And that step is to divide both sides by H. So, pagka dinivide nyo siya by H, H will be cancelled out in this side of the equation. So, now you are left with B by itself. So, ang ating equation ngayon will be 2A all over H. So, ito yung ating solution for B. So, nakagawa na tayo ng dalawang formula. Isa, paghanap ng area given the base and the height. Ngayon naman, hahanapin naman natin or gagamitin naman natin tong formula na to na kung saan hahanapin natin yung base na ang given naman is yung height at saka yung area ng triangle. So, yan yung isa sa mga importanteng gamit ng pag-solve ng literal equation para makapag-derive kayo ng iba pang formula mula sa isa pang formula. Sa pangatlo kong example, i-relate ko uli yung aking formula sa isang linear equation. Kapag meron tayong 2 plus 3x equal to 7 and we need to solve for x, the first thing that we need to do is to get rid of 2. And to get rid of 2, we need to subtract both, both sides by 2 para 2 minus 2 will equal to 0 at 7 minus 2 will be 7 minus 2. So, hindi ko muna pinakita kung paano isolve si 7 minus 2 na alam natin is 5 kasi gusto kong makita nyo na talagang sinusubtract lang natin si 7 and 2 para, ma para makuha si x by itself. Now, since meron ka pang 3 with x and you want to get rid of 3 kasi ang goal natin is to solve for x, we divide both sides by 3. So, cancel this out and you'll be left with 7 minus 2 all over 3. So, ito yung nangyari sa ating solution para makuha si x by itself. Now, if you want to further simplify your fraction, just subtract 7 and minus 2, and you'll get 5 over 3. So, may dalawa tayong answer na alam natin is parehas or magkaparehas lang. Now, itong steps na ginamit natin, we have 1, 2, 2 steps, gagamitin din natin yan dito sa ating susunod na literal equation. At yun yung perimeter or perimeter formula sa geometry. So, ang perimeter is given by the formula twice the width plus twice the length. Now, in this particular Literal equation, I want you to solve for W. So, kailangan natin ma-isolate ma, ma si W at matanggal si 2 at saka si 2L. And to do that, since ito yung aking literal equation, ang una kong gagawin is to get rid of 2L. So, to get rid of 2L, since may plus ako dito, I'll just subtract 2L in both sides. So, this cancels out because it's going to turn into 0. And you'll have P minus 2L. So, you have P minus 2L is equal to 2W. Ngayon, sa second step nyo, si W ay na kay, may 2 pa kay W. So, you need to get rid of 2 by dividing both sides by 2. So, that W will be by itself. Kaya ang ating bagong formula ngayon, using our solution is P minus 2L all over 2. At yan yung pag-solve ng mga literal equation na associated sa mga um, operations na ginamit natin in our previous lesson.